Okay, in this video we're going to be taking a look at a couple Android applications, so let's get this thing started. The first application we're going to be taking a look at is Photoshop for Android. Um, what it is, you could edit um, different pictures that you have stored on your phone or the pictures that you've taken from your camera. This is just one example. Go to Menu, Edit, and then you have um, options up here. You could crop, so you could crop out, um, how much of the photo you want. You could also straighten it up, rotate, flip. You could also adjust the exposure, um, put um, black and white, brightness. Let's come out of that. Soft focus, effects. Let's take a look at a couple of the effects. This is just a bunch of different effects you could get. Um, and once you finish editing it, um, adjusting it how you want to, you could just save it and it doesn't overwrite the picture that's already installed on there. And then you could upload it straight to Facebook or Twitter or send it as an email or do whatever you want. This application is free from the marketplace. Um, the next application we'll be taking a look at is the Salt 6. Um, to get this game, you need to go to Gameloft's website. So, what you do, on your mobile phone you just type in Gameloft um, in your internet browser then you go to the first link and it should take you to the website where you can buy this game um, you do need a high end android phone to play this okay this is the menu you've got career, race, garage and multiplayer multiplayer does work on it, it works fine um, another little thing I want to show you is the garage in the garage you have a little joystick so you could actually move around the garage view all the um, different cars it runs pretty uh, smooth graphics are a lot better than the previous one you can just walk around the garage uh, view all the different cars you have um, let's get into a race now um, another thing they've added in the Assault 6 is the um, cars, um, there's a lot more s better selection of cars got the Audi, that's the car I currently have you got Aston Martins BMWs, Bentleys Lamborghinis, all the high end cars all the way to the Bugatti Veyron at the end I'm just gonna start up a match, as I said before I'm using the Audi RS5 don't know if you can tell through the camera, but the graphics have um, improved a lot. Runs nice. The environments is a lot more detailed since the previous one, and everything seems a lot more polished. Another cool thing that you could do in this game um, is drift. So if you go around the corner here, you just tap the brakes and you could just drift like that. Pretty decent game. Um, the, you do have to pay for, the, pay for this game if you want it and you do need a high-end phone. It won't work on every single Android phone, but it does work on most of them. Gameplay is good. This is probably one of the best racing games on Android so far that I've played and the most enjoyable one. The application we're going to be taking a look at is um, Camera 3D. Um, what you could do is kind of take uh, 3D photos with your normal camera. It's going to show you how it works. Um, what you do, you have to take uh, three different pictures at different angles. So you start off with the picture like that. And then you keep moving the camera and taking the pictures and then it makes it into kind of like a 3D picture. I'm just going to take a couple of pictures and show you how that works. After you've taken the three pictures you go straight into preview. And then you just kind of swipe across to see the different image that you take. It's kind of like it's in a 3D model. Um, it's pretty decent. You could take some pretty uh, nice um, pictures with it. 
Um, this is free from the marketplace. Um, the next application you want to take a look at is Alarm Clock Plus. Um, it's basically an alternative alarm clock to the one that you have pre-installed on your phone. You have the usual options. Uh, we could set the time if you want it to repeat. You could change it, um, set it as a ringtone, your alarm as a ringtone. You could have it gently increase uh, in 10 seconds, 15, 4 minutes. And you could also use the flashlight, so when your alarm goes off, you could have the flashlight, um, this light continuously uh, flashing. You could also set how much times you want it to snooze. Um, you could also maths for dismiss, so you have to do like a little simple maths question if you want to turn off the alarm. Just to get your brain working in the morning and you could have down here to test the alarm there's a bunch of new features that you can have in this alarm and it's a great alternative to the one that's pre-installed on the phone the next application we'll be taking a look at is meganoid you have the basic controls left to right and you could just jump and you just have to keep jumping and collecting as much diamonds as you can you do have obstacles to go through as the level progress like here you got the Kind of spikes at the bottom and you have to jump over it without falling in and just collect as much diamonds as you can more diamonds you collect the more points you get you get the basic idea of the game it's free from the marketplace the last thing we're going to be taking a look at is a live wallpaper just going to get it loaded up I could find it. There you go. It's basically different tiles, and it could load up your picture or any picture that you want from your album, and you could just tap to interact with it, and you could change the background color to whatever color you prefer. Um, it's a pretty decent wallpaper. It's free from the marketplace. That's been about it. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you haven't already, leave your comments below, tell me what you think of the applications. Also recommend me some applications to review. Um, that's about it. Thanks for watching.